cut away. Cut, you see there, there's a bit, you can cut a few bits across there now. Yeah? Right, so a bit hollow there, so turn it over there. You can play forever with these things, blades, but they don't need to be absolutely spot on. The best way is to look down there, you can see that. Can anybody look how the bend is in that? Can you see a bend in there? Where is it? That's right. Yeah, it's only a bend. But we can try and smooth that out if you like. Difficult because the blades are still there a little bit there, so we'll just hit it a bit higher. Yeah. I'll put a bit of tension in. Right, you roll just like that piece of steel here. Just pick that piece of steel up here again. You can see the hydraulic roll marks there. You see what effect that's had on there. Well, what you do here is to put some length, some, some, um, to get rid of this ten to get rid of all that tension that's been put in. I could smith down there with long, long shaped marks on there to take that tension out. So we then have to strip, to stretch the edges a little bit. Okay. So it's the same with the handsaw. You want to remove some tension. It's a bit too loose. You can go hammer down each side. Okay. In, with a with a long face hammer. That's a long face hammer. So it would be that way. Down each side. Don't forget you have to do it on both sides, otherwise you can bend your blade. And that will take the tension out. If you want to put some more tension in, you come down the middle, put the blades like that, and then turn it over. I wouldn't even be tapping it, so I wouldn't have much effect on that. You have to do a little bit harder than that, not too much. I probably not had done anything to that at all. Still a tiny little bit of water. Building the lily now, that's one. That's good enough. That's good enough to be straight now. Any more? Any more one 